Welcome to Sebastian and Friends, the show where I rattle friends to have an intimate conversation with them in order to get to know them better. This time I raffled a dear friend from work and I'm very glad because I have a whole lot of questions about his affection for beautiful colorful heads and of course a lot of questions about his beautiful home country, Brazil. Welcome! Marlon! Marlon! Did you forget your hat? What hat? Well, your trademark Marlon hat. It's no Marlon. I'm Marlon. Look. Well, could have fooled me. Who are you then? I'm Mark. We work together. You always call me Marlon. I'm sorry, guys, but you Brazilians kind of look alike. I'm French. I'm from Venezuela. Potato, potato. Sorry, dude. Maybe next time. Thanks for coming, Marlon. Rest assured, I will talk slow because I know your English is still developing. I have been living in this country for 13 years. And yet you managed to keep a good strong accent. Alright, a little bit of background on Marlon. Now, I moved to Dublin, Ireland about two years ago and Marlon met me at work about four months ago. And straight away there was something that drew us towards each other, like little magnets. Now, I don't know whether that was due to my charisma or his affection towards my charisma. And Marlon has a keen interest in funny videos, so quite naturally it didn't take him long to discover mine. Now Marlon, what would you say has changed most about me, if you compare the me now to the me in my older videos? Maybe your language? Well, sure, yeah. What else? Have you changed your beard? Oh, mm, not really. Well, maybe you are in better shape. Oh, you think so? Well, but Marlon, it's not really about appearance. It's about being healthy and having a healthy body because health really is our most valuable gift. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's why I actually took up yoga. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking now. Sebastian and yoga, quite a stretch. No, not really. A lot of people do yoga. No, not true. Just a few. No, no, no. My neighbor Steve, he does yoga. Yeah, but I'm sure he does the wrong kind of yoga. I do warriors. I don't think Steve can do a warrior. Hey, Steve is actually a yoga teacher. Steve, Steve, Steve. Look, Marlon, this conversation is actually meant to be about you, so I get to know you a little bit better. So maybe you tell me something about your online blog, Maritime Life? It's actually Mad Life, which is a combination between Marlon and Life. Oh, okay. I thought Maritime Life, because you love fish. No. Yeah, I'll give it a read. And as always, I encourage my guests to bring something to the show they want to present or talk about. So what did you bring? Anything from Brazil? Venezuela. Potato, potato. And yes, I actually brought some uh, Latin dancing moves that I'd like to show you. Wait, let's give you something more traditional. Okay, beautiful. So... Anything else that might be interesting about you? I'm gay. Well, most Latinos are, so that's not really special. But I guess if you have nothing else to say, I might as well end the show with a joke, as I always do. So, question. If blind people are, in fact, really blind, then why do they always have those huge rings under their eyes? Shouldn't they be the one that get the best sleep out of all of us? You see? Not just a joke, also a great observation. That's horrible. And you're horrible. Maybe it's time for my next guest. You don't have a next guest. Other Marlon? So, tell me about Brazil. I told you already. I'm French. Good for you. That was Sebastian and Friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I want to thank again my friends Mark and Marlon for helping me out. Make sure to check out this online blog. The link is in the description box. Maritime Life. It's my life. Sure, whatever. I'll give it a read. Thanks again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.